Okay, so for anybody that doesn't know, my name is Paige. I'm Danica's little sister, and I'll start this off by saying I have huge shoes to fill when it comes to this speech. Does it surprise anyone here that I have been trying to play catch up to this incredible overachiever for my entire life? <laughs> and this moment is no exception. And while I will never be able to tell the full story of how much she means to me, how incredible this partnership is, or how much I want to embarrass the two of them in this moment, there will never be enough words or time to do that fully. So I've decided to share a few memories in ways I thought that Danica and Scott may understand more than anyone else in the room through a gift that keeps on giving. Now everyone, I'm just gonna warn you, sit back, get comfortable, we're gonna be here a while. <laughs> because karma, Danica, karma. <laughs> so, get your beverages handy, um, and if I could ask Chris and Paige for a little bit of help to get things started, Hamilton style. <laughs> so we're gonna get things started at the very beginning. Dear little Danny, what to say to you? <laughs> you have blue eyes, you have your mom's blonde hair. When you came into the world, you screamed and you never stopped. <laughs> I'm dedicating this whole speech to you. Cause married life has just become your style. I hope you smile. All of this comes from the heart, but it's only just the start. It wasn't long until Danica made herself known, always involved in everything she could. Softball, soccer, basketball, music theater, president of every club, and most of all, trying to guide me as baby sister through life in our small town. That is, when she wasn't pretending that I was the kid that mom and dad found and decided to keep as their own. <laughs> Now, don't get me wrong, even in keeping so busy, Danica was always keeping her eyes out on the boys that she could be friends. And we were all there along for the ride. Danica, Paige, and Jamie, the Lewis sisters. Daddy said that all boys are punks, but Daddy doesn't need to know. Daddy said to work hard, but have fun. Because Danica made sure that 
he had to wait for that first meeting. As he sat waiting, safe to say, it went a little bit like this. Danica, she texts me a message every day. <laughs> Keeping her seat at the bar warm while she's still awake. She's on the west side of Madtown. I'm trying to keep cool and stay fine. Hoping she's not second guessing. I'm really hoping she'll be mine. But love doesn't discriminate between the one on time and the one who's over 20 minutes late. But I'm <laughs> Continue to 
led to this fateful day that I remember like yesterday. So when Scott pulled me aside to let me know, hey, it's happening this weekend, screw the plans I had before, let's do this tomorrow, what do you think? My answer was pretty easy. I have more time than I thought, so take a swig, everybody. <laughs> Big brother, I am 